For as long as we can remember, man has tried to influence nature. But plants, animals and microbes were always kind of a black box. The only means to improve them were breeding and selection. However, since the beginning of the 21st century, things are different. Science and technology make it possible to look deep inside an organism and collect multiple data about its elementary building blocks. We can now access the source code of nature. A new discipline arose from that called systems biology. It aims to combine our knowledge of the building blocks of life, leading to a mathematical description of biological systems. For if we know how something is programmed, like a cell or a plant, we might be able to adjust it for the better, to improve food production, for example, or to produce medicine. At Wageningen UR, systems biology has become an important work field over the last decade. One of the leading figures is Jab Molinar. To me, systems biology is like a house. It's different floors, the so-called aggregation levels, ranging from the cellar, let's say the DNA level, up to the highest level, that's the ecosystem level. And to get a solid house, you need a skeleton, a solid skeleton. And I think system biology provides that skeleton via mathematical modeling. It's essential for system biology to connect the phenomena at different levels. It's unique for the Wageningen approach that we don't restrict ourselves to the lower levels. We include the full range of levels in the house of biology. In Wageningen, the insights of systems biology are put to practical use. There are fascinating projects. For instance, can we regulate when a plant will flower and thus increase food production? Flowers are beautiful, but plants make flowers not for their beauty, but in order to reproduce. And to be successful, it's very important that flowering takes place in the right season. For that reason, plants use extensive genetic networks to regulate flowering. This regulation is not only relevant for plants, but also for us, because we grow plants for food and can be very important to regulate this process. And in my research, I make mathematical models that describe how genes, components of the DNA, influence each other and in the end influence flowering time. But there's more. Another project uses the knowledge we've gained on our inner bacteria, the ones living in our intestines. It's called the virtual gut. What we are working to find out is how the diet and our lifestyle and the antibiotics that we take impact the, the health of the intestine and how that impacts our overall health status. Nowadays we, can, we have access to enormous amount of data from experiments but also that are collected by, by medical doctors and there are even uh, phone apps that allow you to record what you eat and what, how healthy you are. In the future, we will use all this data and we will aggregate it so that we can develop even more sophisticated models that will allow us to, to predict how to be healthy and how to help prevent disease. And to think that systems biology is actually still in its early years. The opportunities are quite clear, however, which also explains the steady funding from governments and organizations. What will the future look like? So the vision of systems biology is to understand uh, our world through mathematical models. And imagine that if you have uh, mathematical models of, for each person, one could understand the, the health status, understand disease, and, and while we make mathematical models for uh, personalized medicine, we of course make mathematical models for microbes, plants and animals so that we can improve feedstock production, we can increase food security. So what are the major challenges in systems biology nowadays? The major challenge is really to understand the complexity of any small microbe or cell. Each one of them is much more complex than anything that man has built so far. Space shuttle, an airplane, whatever. So, systems biology may change the way we work with nature, the way we produce our food and try to protect our health. In Wageningen, scientists are working to realize the enormous opportunities. When mathematics meets biology, fascinating things will happen.